Survivors of child sex abuse filled the Capitol hoping to reform abuse laws. They want to get rid of the criminal statutes of limitations, meaning that pedophiles could be prosecuted no matter how long ago those crimes happened. 33 other states have already done this. Now, we talked with some of those survivors about why they often wait for decades before naming their abusers. Lisa Balick has their stories. I failed children that he abused later. Let's get him off the street. How so? Because I didn't come forward early enough. Andrea Mills feels so guilty she didn't speak up when she and others were abused by a family member while growing up. It was just a skeleton in the closet that nobody talked about and everybody knew it was happening, but nobody wanted to talk about it, nobody wanted to deal with it. He was the main breadwinner and we wouldn't have been able to survive without him. She escaped by going to live somewhere else, but now years later, when she has her own family, it's too late for her to file charges against her abuser. That's why she and many other child abuse victims are supporting House Bill 3284. It gets rid of the statute of limitations for criminal prosecution of sex abuse against minors by adults. A big reason many who are abused wait until they're adults to speak up is fear. Just because kids speak out doesn't mean people believe them, and the laws are still going to stop it. You know, if you live in fear, you know, if you talk to your friends, you know, it doesn't always get pushed out there. And by the time it does, it might be too late. The bill faces a challenge from those who say it would allow people to be falsely accused, but supporters say. There still has to be proof before someone faces criminal charges. The timing of this bill is significant. April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month. In fact, there's a display right across the street from the Capitol. Reporting in Salem, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. So now, if the victims do get their way, that means sex abuse cases, no matter how old, could still be prosecuted. That could mean new trials and lawsuits for several high profile cases in Portland. Uh, just last year, a Portland law firm released 20 years' worth of secret files detailing sex abuse by scout leaders. If it passes, victims could once again sue the Boy Scouts for past abuses. The Archdiocese of Portland has faced more than 200 claims of sexual abuse. Right now, the church is facing a lawsuit where a woman says a former uh, pastor at the Reedsport Parish of St. John abused her at least a dozen times when she was a teenager.